day two of the second week of the PUBG Mobile World League Season 0 just wrapped up and in case you missed any of the action, we have you covered. Team Secret started the day on a high note, winning the first chicken dinner of the day, making them the only team to have won two chicken dinners during the league play. In the final fight in Game 1, Sanhot, they got the better of Nova Godlike in a 4v4 situation. However, despite winning two games, they ended up second in the overall standings. The first spot was claimed by Bigatron RA, who won the chicken dinner in Game 3, also Sanhot. What's more impressive is that they have the highest number of kills. 46. Manic might just go down to the blue zone right there. He wants to deny points away from Bigatron. They confirm the extra points. And he sees. Before we talk about any more teams that have made it through to the Super Weekend, let's have a look at the favorites who didn't make it. Nova Godlike seemed to have started the day off well, coming second in game one. However, they stumbled throughout the rest of the day. In Game 2, Evangel, they conceded their usual drop spot Pochinki to T1 whom they later caught up with in the 4th circle as T1 tried to swim across to Sosnovka. Here, Godlike took aim atop a ridge on the main island and shot down two members from T1, killing them instantly. However, as a twist of fate, Godlike tried swimming across to the military island as well, only to get a taste of their own medicine as they were sent to a watery grave and an early exit via Orange Rock. Wow, that is, this is literally the exact same situation. Yeah, what comes uh, around goes around, John. Absolutely, and now they're having to make exactly the same, uh, same push. So we'll see if they're as successful as T1, who managed to get two players across. It was all downhill for Nova Godlike after that, and as a result, they failed to make it to the Super Weekend two weeks straight. Surprisingly, Yudu Gang did not qualify this week, and this comes as a little bit of a shock, especially since they performed so well in Week 1. They had a good outing today, getting plenty of kill points and would have even qualified had it not been for T1, who overtook them by one point. There was even a moment in Game 4 in Irangul when Yurugang mounted an assault on T1, wiping them out. However, it seems like T1 had the last laugh. We go for the final spray and Seda we got Fredo coming on the other angle. And T1, they've got to try and heal up, but they don't have time to do so. Fredo gets rid of T1 as they get eliminated in 10th position. Huge by Fredo. Let's now take a look at some of the most impressive moments of the day. One of which was Synergy clutching a 2v4 chicken dinner against Box Gaming in the second game in a round. Eliminated. Loki now caught in this one versus one. They've turned it all oh, oh, Can't get it done. It's Synergy who come back in swinging. They rotate in. They stay quiet. But at the last one. King of Gamers Club were also impressive today, especially in game four. In Wrangle, when the circle drastically shifted towards the small bridge near the gas station west of Yasnaya. KOG were able to keep all four players alive in a challenging match that put their tactical prowess to the test. Additionally, they also came second in Game 5. Galaxy Racers Celts showed us grit and determination today, especially in Game 5, where their positioning skills were second to none, allowing them to grab that chicken dinner. Galaxy Racers Celts are gonna get the final blow, they claim the chicken dinner. All in all, day two of the second week of the PUBG Mobile World League Season 0 was an entertaining affair with all games exhibiting some ridiculous circle shifts. All eyes are now on the Super Weekend and we can't wait to see what teams bring to the table.